Okay, so before the yahoos get home that are my family, I'm going to try again. I'm going to make a video of one of my uh, grilled cheese. I like to make it with multiple different types of cheese. So yeah, I've got provolone and some Colby Jack. I like to usually make it with three or four different kinds, but this is what I have on hand today. And I'm gonna use some homemade bread that I made in my bread machine earlier. I wanted to put that video up, but my camera is not cooperating. So I've got my bread buttered here. I'm gonna put the buttered side down. I'm gonna start with A slice of Colby Jack. In the middle of that, I'm going to put a piece of provolone and another piece of Colby Jack on top. Top it with another piece of buttered bread. I'm going to put the Temperature up a little bit so it'll cook a little quicker. And then, of course, pay attention. Usually you want to cook it on about medium heat. Um, and that should get it nice and golden. There's a lot of people that want to, say, make it with mayo. I find mayo doesn't really have good taste to it. Butter, butter has the best taste. Uh, butter just really can't be beat. So, that's the best. I usually like to use, with my Colby Jack, some Havarti cheese, Munster cheese, Gouda cheese. Just mix them. You can't really, you really can't go wrong. Three or four pieces of cheese and it gets it really nice and melty. Um, makes it really, really good. Um, so this is going to be my first video. Um, like I said, I wanted my, um, video making the bread to work, but my camera is not working very well. I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm pretty new to this, so hopefully... Hopefully this is going to work for me. I'm trying to let this get warmed up and brown. Once your first side browns, your second side will go pretty quick. Um, grilled cheese is pretty basic, but it's a pretty good comfort food. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Just keep an eye on it. You don't want to turn it too fast. Although if you do and it's still not browned, I mean, you can still flip it again and it'll continue browning. I'm starting to hear a little bit of sizzle. I can see where the butter's melting. Sometimes I like to put a fried egg, sometimes ham on there. You can do pretty much anything you want. Get 
give that a flip. I don't think it's ready yet. It's not ready. Like I said, if you try to flip it prematurely, that's okay because you can always turn it back. So as you can tell, this isn't browned enough. Definitely not brown. So we will flip this back over here in a few minutes once we get the other side. But my pan was cold, so that's okay. that's cooking I will put my butter and cheese away Yeah, I think I can feel the other side getting kind of toasty now. You can kind of tell by how it feels on the pan. And it's hard to describe other than it doesn't feel as mushy against the pan when you move it. There. You see, see the browning on this side? That's what you want to see. Some people like it a little more brown, some not so brown. I think that's just about perfect. So we'll brown up the other side a little more and get the cheese nice and melty. where we turned it nice and brown and you can see the cheese there I'm gonna get it just a little bit more melted Careful because it's hot. 
All right. A nice cheese pull there. And there you got it. A nice fresh, melty grilled cheese. All right. And enjoy.